What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'll be talking about installing and using the new CurseForge launcher released by Overwolf. Basically, Twitch acquired CurseForge in 2016, and within the past couple of weeks to months, they've sold it on to Overwolf. You probably already heard of Overwolf from their TeamSpeak integration and more. Basically, not much is going to change for Modpack creators other than a completely different launcher and website. I'm not entirely sure we're setting up servers quite just yet, as there's not too much obvious news about it. However, because I have covered modpack installations and server setups in the past, I will of course be covering that as soon as information becomes readily available, which should be probably the 30th of November, which is in fact tomorrow at the time of recording this, when they completely move over from Twitch to Overwolf. The mods tab on the Twitch launcher will be completely disabled. As mentioned in this CurseForge Medium article, add-ons will only be available via the CurseForge app. Additionally, the mods tab will no longer be available in the Twitch desktop app. Hence, I'm making this video today to show you exactly what you need to do to get, say, a Minecraft mod pack installed using the new CurseForge Overwolf launcher. I'll be going through the install and downloading a simple mod pack, getting it to work. That's this basic premise of this video. And in another video, I'll be going through installing, say, the Optifine mod pack to any CurseForge Overwolf mod pack. And probably within the next few days, I'll be going through setting up a mod pack server using the new Overwolf launcher, as the Twitch mod pack download probably won't be available. Of course, it'll be something similar, but it won't be exactly the same. Hence, I'll be having to update my guides. So let's begin. If you have the Twitch launcher and head across to the mods tab, you'll see something like this about CurseForge. Basically, you'll click here and you'll be taken across to the Overwolf website to download the new CurseForge launcher. So of course, you won't need the Twitch app installed at all. And quite frankly, I haven't used it for anything but mod packs, so I'll be uninstalling it. Head across to the first link in the description down below, which will be the curseforge.overwolf.com website. This is the new place that you'll be getting CurseForge from. Simply click download for Windows or download for Mac OS. That'll download the installer, which we'll go through in just a second. Scrolling down on this page, you'll find some information about it, and you'll find a space that you can stick in your email if you'd like to see more about progress on the application. Clicking that little link will take you across to their roadmap, where you can see progression on different things being built in, updated, and the future of development. With all of that aside, let's go ahead and install it by clicking on the installer we just downloaded. I'll click yes when prompted for admin, and the installer should open up in just a second. There we go. All we have to do is simply choose a language, click next, then we can choose to create a shortcut for both CurseForge and Overwolf. I would recommend doing both of these so that you know that you have Overwolf installed as well. This installer will install both Overwolf and the CurseForge Overwolf launcher. Simply click I accept, next, and then it'll go ahead and download not only CurseForge, but also the Overwolf application as well. As far as I know, you do need both of these installed for CurseForge to work properly, so keep that in mind. You can, of course, try to uninstall Overwolf if you're not necessarily going to use it and you're only going to use CurseForge instead. I'll click Launch and you'll see the CurseForge icon and Overwolf icon on my desktop, which we can simply open up if you didn't click Launch in the installer. CurseForge is currently preparing for its first launch and in a couple of seconds, we'll see the main window as such. It'll present us with a simple walkthrough. Next. You're in control of privacy. Next, support mod authors. Next, let's shape the future of CurseForge together. Next, let the games begin. Get started. You can, of course, skip through all of that if you'd like. Of course, this installer does have ads, which you can click over here to subscribe to CurseForge monthly to get rid of ads within the application. As far as I know, this won't add ads to your actual game, mod packs, etc., etc. This is purely the launcher. And hey, if it's going to support the mod authors, it's probably better than nothing. So I really don't mind having this here if I'm going to be installing some mod packs and coming back to it relatively often. Of course, you can go ahead and click on any game that's listed here. I will be demonstrating Minecraft installing a mod pack. Simply clicking the Minecraft icon, we get to pick where Minecraft modding files will go. This is where mod packs and other required items will be installed. I'll simply click edit so we can see exactly where these are being put. Currently, they're being put in C Users Technobo Documents Twitch Minecraft. If I have a look inside of the Twitch launcher, inside of the Settings section, then the Minecraft section, you'll see the Minecraft path is still set to C Users Technobo Twitch Minecraft. So it's the same as the Twitch launcher. I would assume that if you have some mod packs installed already with a Twitch launcher, they'll be carried across to here. So I'll simply click Select Folder and it'll load any mod packs if you have any currently installed, I would assume, from the Twitch Curse launcher. Of course, if you'd like to install a mod pack, Simply click Browse Mod Packs at the very top and locate one that you'd like to play. I'll demonstrate with, say, Valhizia 2. 
I'll click the install button and immediately it started its download process, installing, and it'll be done in a couple of minutes. You can click on it for more information, though it seems like you're not able to do that while it's installing. That's fine, I'll simply click on the next one on the list. As you can see, it's somewhat similar to the Twitch launcher where we get a bunch of images, preview text, and more. We can see a changelog, screenshots, and we have a versions tab where we can install a specific version of the mod pack. I would assume that this is the tab that you also download the server packs from. Though I'm not entirely sure, we'll be finding out more tomorrow. Heading back, we'll simply wait for this install to complete. If we head across to the My Mod Packs page, you'll see it here as well. And now that the download's complete, we can simply click play and the Minecraft launcher will open up. If you already have it running, simply close out of the Minecraft launcher and then click play once again. After it updates the launcher, you'll be prompted to log in. This will be your normal Minecraft Mojang Microsoft login details. After simply logging in, you can see our user account in the top left where we can log out or manage our account and we can choose the version we'd like to play. If you click play here with this launcher closed, you should see the one and only version here is the one from the launcher. Simply clicking play will update Minecraft and launch up the mod pack as you would normally expect from the Twitch launcher. In this regard, not much has changed other than the launcher you used to get to your mod pack in here. I would assume that if you still have mod packs installed from the Twitch launcher, your worlds, settings, skins, resource packs, etc, etc will all be copied across as you're not actually going to be reinstalling it, it should just simply detect mod packs that have been installed with a previous version of the software. If it doesn't, then make sure to check the description down below for a video guide on how to do that. There we go, as you can see the game is launching up exactly as we expect, and as you can see we're dropped onto the main menu where we can play the game exactly as you'd expect. Of course, if you had a single player world here, or multiplayer world saved, in a previous installation using the Twitch launcher, they should all still be here, same as all of your settings, resource packs, etc, etc. So with this quick crash course out of the way, you can simply click on it to open it up, click the three dots to go ahead and uninstall, repair, delete the profile, etc, etc, or even install a different version by clicking versions and selecting one from this drop down. It's all basically exactly the same as the Twitch launcher, just it has been rebranded. Hopefully this was enough of a crash course to get you started installing your favorite mod packs or at least starting to play them again when the mods menu disappears off the Twitch launcher. I do hope that those searching for why exactly did the mods tab disappear will land up on this video so they understand exactly what they need to do to continue playing their existing mod packs, download new ones, manage them, etc, etc. If you'd like to see how to set up a server with the new Overwolf CurseForge, make sure to check the description down below in the coming few days. And of course, if you'd like to install Optifine to any mod pack on the Overwolf CurseForge launch room, you can also check the description down below for another video on that. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.